Ladies and gentlemen, many moons have passed since the last episode of the Can Kale Show. But today is June 2nd, 2012. And returning to you is Keenan La Is Keenan Lafferty in the flesh. Yes, and today is episode 37 of the Can Kale Show. I am your host, Keenan Lafferty. Nice to be back and see all of you again. I got a new chair, but unfortunately it like, has a tendency to roll by itself. Uh, so I gotta get back up here. Yes, we are finally back in the his house. As you can see, all the stuff finally got cleaned up in the room, and we are back on the air. So I am very happy to be seeing you guys again. And today we are actually going to be doing a tutorial on drawing a forearm in perspective and how to basically lay that out. It's going to be awesome. But before we get into that, I want to talk a little bit about what's been going on since I left. So I noticed up here, we did we get to past 2000? Like while I was gone, did I not even notice that? Because I could have sworn I did a video on saying thank you for 2000, but, or was that 1000? Like that would be crazy if it was. Regardless, thank you guys so much. We're up to 2000, almost 300 subscribers to the show, and that is freaking amazing. I love it, and that makes me seriously, we need to throw another dance party somewhere very soon. Moving on to the Facebook. Little Facebooko. I got on here, and I saw this stuff, and I was like, this is amazing. Look at this. There's a great caricature sent in by the lovely, hopefully it's a girl, otherwise it's handsome. Uh, wait, what is, who sent this? Who sent this? Ross Daniel. Oh, by the handsome Ross Daniel. Thank you very much. <laughs> and we have all these other awesome drawings. Thank you guys so much for sending in the usual awesomeness to Facebook, talking amongst yourselves and giving each other tips, tricks, and just basically enjoying yourselves. It really makes me happy to see that you guys carry on even with me gone. Uh, look at this. This is so cute. It's a little little wombat creature. I love it. So awesome. And it's Castle Crasher. I was bragging about this at work too. I was be like, hey, look at my Facebook, guys. Isn't this awesome? I got all these awesome artists that send stuff in that watch my show. And yeah, they're all jealous. So yeah, thank you guys so much for sending that stuff in and continue to do so. So moving on. Oh, I like that Ari, by the way. That's good looking. Good job, whoever drew that. Good job. Send me more of that. Moving on. We'll be jumping right into our tutorial with me not having Photoshop open. Wow. Look at how prepared I am. Let's get this stuff all in order. Yes, today we are going to be drawing forearm in perspective. And I'll show you an easy way how to do that. We will conclude approximately 6.05. No, 6.10. Let's go 6.10. That's good. That's a good number. Create a new document. Let's go 8.5 by 11, 300 DPI. Good. Stick my cell right up here. First thing I do is darken the background. Easier on the eyes. I love things that are easy on the eyes, especially when they are women. And with that, we move into the tutorials quickly as I can get my freaking mouse untangled. The heck is... Hang on. Oh. Oh, there we go. All right, I'm back. <laughs> so with that, we will move on into the tutorial. Now, I have been gone for approximately two months, and with all of that time passing, there are some amazing stories to tell. But I will start simply with what has been going on the past few days. So, um, well, first what I'm going to be doing is basically just laying out this body, right? So first I'm going to draw in a head. Draw in our head for our characters as soon as it stops lagging. Come on, stay with me. Stay with me, people. There we go. So we got our head, right? And this is mostly just to show like the positioning. It's not really imperative that you draw this perfectly. And you're going to be drawn the shoulders. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just basically kind of lay out where the shoulders are going to go, right? This one is just going to be the regular one kind of going down by the side. 
you know, like that. Then you have your chest here, like that. And then what happens when you're raising your arm and like pushing your hand forward or pushing it forward, you notice how it raises the, the shoulder here too as well. It's not like down here and then kind of like doing this weird thing, like that just feels awkward to do. When you're pushing forward, it really pushes your shoulder up. So let's make sure that we do that. And when you push your shoulder up, it raises your clavicle as well as all the muscles. So right now we'll just be representing the shoulder with this circular piece. So, um, yeah, basically what's been going on the last couple days, what was interesting was uh, I got home from work and I carpooled with my buddy, Larry Ray, a.k.a. the Bravo Ray, the mind behind such things as Blood Lord Vladimir, Demon Blade Trindamir, Redeemed Riven, basically all those awesome skins. He's the guy that concepted those, and then I did the splashes for him. But he's my carpool buddy to and from Riot. So uh, I was so excited to get home for the weekend on Friday that I decided to just uh, leave my keys on my desk. So when he dropped me off in my car, I was checking my pocket, and I realized that, well, I have like a, I have like a bag, a man bag, a satchel, an Indiana Jones satchel. So I checked where I usually keep my keys, and they weren't there, and he had already taken off because he was ready to, you know, get home because he had plans this weekend, so he's like, see you, you know, so I wanted to make sure that, you know, I wasn't just misplacing my keys, so I double-checked, triple-checked my bags, and then eventually, you know, what happened was uh, I realized that I actually did leave my keys. Uh, I called my coworker just to find out if I had actually done it, and yeah, he did. He said, uh... He said I had left him there, so I was like, oh, great. So I called Larry, and I told him, hey, man, uh, <laughs> I think we're going to have to go back to uh, Santa Monica. And granted, it takes about like half an hour to get to where you know, where my car is. So we literally would have had to drive all the way back and then back to the car, and I was feeling pretty bad about that. I was a little embarrassed, to say the least. So I decided that I had plans with my friend, that evening to go out to dinner. So I was like, hey man, um, I called him and I was like, hey, can you just come pick me up, you know, from my car and uh, let's just go and then you'll drop me off at home and I'll I'll pick it up tomorrow, you know, because uh, usually you're not allowed to stay there overnight. You're not allowed to park your car there overnight, otherwise they tell you. But I looked carefully at the sign and it said, except Saturday and Sunday. And, uh, oh, by the way, okay, let me get back into this. So, sorry, we're totally sidetracking, but there'll be many stories to tell. And I hope you guys don't mind that. So what I'm going to be doing with this arm coming forward here is actually um, we're going to be working with two shapes, two oval shapes that are going to represent our bicep and the forearm. So the first thing you're going to do is the bicep, right? So when you're pushing forward like this, you'll notice that the bicep in this kind of angle, right, especially like this, it, it creates like this oval shape, right, like that, right? So the first thing we're going to do is create this oval right here. And that is going to represent the bicep there, right? And it's kind of at an angle too. It's not straight across like this. It's a, it has a little bit of an angle going up. And then for the forearm, basically it's another oval, but this one is perpendicular to it. And you can see it as I hold it like this. See, this oval is going this way for the bicep. And then the forearm has an angle going down like this and see how it wraps around like that. So draw in your second oval shape, like that. And see, they're going to kind of interlock with each other. And then coming forward, you know, think about, you know, kind of the space that it's taking up. And then usually I just kind of represent the, the fist with a box, right? Like that. Or kind of curve it a little bit, too. Because when you, when you make a fist, it's like a box, right? Like that. But when you clench your fist, it kind of you push these fingers forward and then these ones drop back and it kind of see how it kind of pulls them down into like a like a little bit of a has like this arc here so you want to kind of capture that and add some extra intensity to your fist and we love intensity because we do P90X right I used to so I don't anymore now I have Muscles Malone uh, aka Larry Ray as my personal trainer. Because that guy is freaking ripped. And he, he he used to be Mr. Universe hailing from Lancaster. So uh, when he started working with me, I was like, all right, dude, uh, you're going to be my personal trainer, and you're going to make me buff like you. 
Like, just to put it in perspective, he's literally got... He's got Chris Redfield arms from Resident Evil 5. Like, that guy is monstrous. So, anyway. Okay, so, <laughs> getting back to what we were talking about. Um, yeah, just draw on the knuckles here. Right? Remember, these, these fingers are coming forward towards you. Like this, right? And then these ones fall back. Something like that. And remember that these, all of the, like, the creases in the skin kind of pull this way pull that direction when you clench your fist. Okay. Oh. So like I was saying, um, yeah, they all go that way. So make sure you draw them like that. <laughs> so anyway, um, going back to the car story. So Larry takes off and I'm feeling bad and I don't want to, you know, I, I figure I'm just going to leave my car there and I'll, I'll get it in the morning. So um, what happens is, um, yeah, uh, I'm just hoping that they're not going to tow it, right? And, uh, well, I figured, like, even if they did tow it, I was going to be like, hey, can I see the, the report of when the tow truck picked up my car? And, it, you know, it would have said, I was like, oh, really, 1.15 a.m. Saturday? Yeah, the, the sign says... You know, I, I can park there on Saturday. So, yeah, I'm going to take my car back. Thank you. But luckily, we just got back, and my car was still there. So my theory held up for once. That's always nice when you think things are going to happen a certain way, and they do. I always like that. So now you can see how these two muscles are interlocking. And see, it's like the reason I like doing this oval shape, like two ovals interlocking with each other, the reason I like doing it this way is because, like, if you were to do it this way, like, where it's, like, circle for the shoulder, and, and then sometimes people do this thing where it's, like, cylinders, right? It's like, okay, that's the bicep, and here's the, you know, the elbow, and then the forearm is another cylinder, right? And here's the fist. It's like, you can't really, you got to lay the muscle on top of that and figure out, like, how it goes, you know? And, uh, like, almost as if it were a maquette. But I like doing it this way because it simulates the muscle there already. And it's really simple to remember. You just go oval this way and then oval that way. Remember how they just connect with each other. And then you put the fist on top of it. And that's a little bit exaggerated, but, you know, it's just an easy, easy way to remember that. And hang on, let me clarify this just a little bit. See, there's the thumb and there's the skin folds going the right way this time. Yes. And oh yeah, that, that also brings up the knuckles. Make sure that the knuckles also kind of transcend in this sort of fashion. They have that kind of thing going on. So um, speaking of forearms, I mean, we could go into a whole nother tutorial on just forearms because uh, recently at work, I actually, uh, there's a guy by the name of David Finch who's an amazing comic book artist. I was watching a tutorial that he was teaching on the Noman Libraries. Noman is a, an art school, and uh, you can check it out online. It's G-N-O-M-O-N. -O -O and anyway, he was teaching a tutorial on like the form muscles and just basically like dynamic anatomy and stuff like that. And it was really, really awesome. And uh, he came into the studio one day, and it was so awesome to like, meet him and just kind of talk to him about you know, what it's like to do, you know, comic book art and stuff like that, because that's something, you know, I really want to do. And so it was just really cool to, to meet him. And speaking of meeting people at work, here's another story. Okay, so um, I'm just walking into work one day, just really casually, you know, just walking into the lobby, and then I look up at the, I look up at the projector, you know, there's like a projector, it's usually like showing, you know, lull games and stuff like that. And then on the projector, it says, welcome to Riot Total Biscuit. And uh, it's just like, what? And so I run up to the desk and I'm like, where's the little biscuit? And they're like, um, he's upstairs uh, playing games with the, you know, the right crew. And I was like, okay, thanks, thanks. <laughs> so I couldn't believe that Total Biscuit was in the office. Apparently he had referred 10,000 people to League of Legends. And when you do that, you actually get a paid trip to Riot to uh, take a tour and they'll actually make a 
make an item in the game kind of named after you. And I think he wanted like a top hat or something. So anyway, um, I'm just going to draw on the shoulder here too. Like armpits and forearms. Those definitely deserve their own tutorials for sure. And like this is a basic, this is mostly just a basic way to lay out how your arm is going to go. And then after that, um, and after that, oh, wait, how the heck did this go? Oh, there we go. And then after that, there's all the muscles that go on top of it. But um, usually, uh, that's a whole other daily in itself. And I'd be more than happy to go into it if that's something that you guys would like to see. So anyway, back to the important story. Total Biscuit is in the building. And I have a sketchbook that needs to get autographed. So I decided I'm going to be all casual and just be like, Oh, hey, what's up, man? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm the artist here. Yeah, I, I drew that picture over there. Uh, who are you? Oh, yeah, Total, Total Biscuit. Yeah, I've heard of you. I've heard of you. Yeah, would you mind uh, giving me an autograph? You seem kind of important. That was the way I wanted it to go in my head. But in reality, I was just like, Total Biscuit, I'm your biggest fan. Will you sign my book, please? And it was like, uh, yeah, sure. You know, in his little British accent. It was really awesome. So anyway, yeah, I got him to sign his freaking autograph in here. That's John, clearly. And then his last name, I forget that, but... Then you got TB, Total Biscuit, and then his top hat. So that freaking made my day. I mean, that was already a good week as it was. And then to top it all off, I meet the freaking most awesome shoutcaster that I've ever seen. Pretty much the, the top shoutcaster on YouTube, you know, doing World of Warcraft. And he has his WTF series. And he's a big reason why I even began the show in the first place is because people like him and Day9. So it was really cool to meet up with him and basically tell him I, uh, I loved him and, uh, yeah, he was a big inspiration to me. So, <laughs> and I drew him a little card. I drew him a picture of his little avatar and, and gave it to him. I was like, "Hey, you can remember me by this." And uh, by the way, if you want to like mention my show on on your your uh, podcast or whatever, uh, that that'd be cool. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> we'll see what happens with that. So uh, anyway, yeah. Sorry, there's so much talking in this one. Um, like I said, I just it's been so long. It's been long, so long since I've seen you guys, and I just just want to reconnect. So another thing I want to talk about is, oh, we got a few more minutes. Another thing I want to talk about is, let's move this aside. So that's just kind of a, the basic way how you'll you'll paint that or draw that arm coming towards you, right? Now what I want to do is just another quick example. Take another couple minutes. Talk about that. So yeah, overall, I mean, the weekend was a little shaky starting off because I, I left my car back at the place where we, where I do the carpool and and um, yeah, just overall, just a little bit of a rough start. But now the weekend is great. I'm just happy to be back here, being able to do these shows again. So now I'm going to talk to you about another really awesome artist technique. His name is Alvin Lee, and he does comic books as well. And what he does is he lays out his perspective for his limbs pretty much with isosceles triangles. And it's really awesome. Like, what it allows you to do is say, okay, here's point one, right? Then point two, let's say we want the arm to be, you know, like the, the hand to be here, right? So what this allows you to do is you lay out basically how the arm is going to look right with this right like this is going to be the elbow joint that's going to be that and an isosceles triangle what makes it isosceles is these lengths have to be the same which is nice because it's the same length from your shoulder to your elbow as the elbow to the wrist so you lay that out and then what's really cool is you can kind of uh, you can play with this to kind of mess around with the, the shapes you know, just by holding control and moving these yourself. You can kind of mess around with it, you know, just move it around. And once it looks good, um, you can just leave it there. And then you can build your anatomy on top of that. And I don't think he always draws the, the triangles as much as he just looks at it. But I think what the biggest tool this is used for is to make sure that this length here is the same as this length. So now let's build on top of that and see what happens. So again... Let's think about that that oval shape, right? That oval shape, if we put it here, right? Let's think about the bicep coming down like this. Tricep 
back like that, right? I always draw it as like this little that thing. Like it's kind of like a comic booky way to exaggerate it. I like doing that. And it comes down to your elbow, right? And then the forearm muscle. There's a lot of muscles in the forearm, but the biggest one to remember is this one that wraps around right here. It's kind of like a, uh, I don't know, it's like a little jelly thing that kind of wraps around. I don't know if you can see it on mine. It's probably not. Probably not. Oh, it's that one right there. See that? That's the muscle right there. And that comes from there and wraps around. And then this is going to be your hand. Let's draw the knuckles there. Just kind of quickly laying this out. There we go. And you take it away. See? So that's kind of a quick, easy way to figure out how the arm is going to come towards you in space, you know, by using that triangle. And then, um, like, if you want to exaggerate a little bit more, you can always just kind of cheat it. You can lasso it and just kind of can do that. I, I always find myself doing that. I always lasso just different body parts and just kind of change them a little bit. That's kind of the, the advantage that you have with digital. But, you know, um, uh, what's it? Pencil artists like Alvin Lee who work with traditional stuff can't do that as easily. So they just got to practice a little bit more and not uh, use the lasso as a crutch as much as I do. So I tip my hat to you, good sir and to all the other amazing traditional comic artists out there. But I am a digital man. I am a digital man forever. The only reason I, I kind of go back to traditional is just uh, for fun or uh, like just to give myself a break from looking at a computer screen all the time because I think it kind of like dries out my eyes or like the radio waves kind of penetrate my brain and, and make me retarded or something, as you can tell. So with that, we are going to be ending today's daily. This has been the Kane Kale Show, episode 37. Um, yeah, I just wanted to take this time to say that uh, I really appreciate that you guys were, like, you guys were sending comments to me and, and notes on DeviantArt and continuing to post things on the Facebook. And that was really cool seeing that you guys were willing to still support the show even when I wasn't able to create episodes for you. So... From the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so much. It really means a lot. And we are going to be getting back to our regular, regularly scheduled times every Saturday. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to continuing the series. Again, uh, write down any comments of things that you want to see from me, like usual. I mean, you guys always do that. And tell your friends about it. And uh, yeah, I definitely got some amazing things coming up for the future of the show. And we have another dance party coming up. So yeah, you have all that to look forward to. So with that, thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't. I'm Keenan Lafferty, and I'll see you guys next week.